up, you two? My name's Jack Armstrong. They call me Jack Daddy. It is fantastic to see you today. We love Jesus, we love our family, and we love the outdoors, and we like to build things. So come along as we build things, come along as we try them out, come along and I'll show you how you can build them too. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! What's up YouTube? I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm tired, but I'm gonna show you today how you can build a grill like this. I just got it finished. I just got it rolled up on this trailer. And, uh, Jack Daddy Cooker coming at you today. We're headed home with a propane tank. So we got 120 pound, I think, gallon. I think it's 120 pound is what they do. Uh, but it's a propane tank. We bought it from a local propane store. You know, when they service them or whatever and they can't be reused or whatever, they just take them. He's already taken the valves off of them and uh, it's been sitting without the valves on for like four weeks he said so uh we should be good just to go ahead and start cutting into it the first thing i'm gonna do is uh, i've got it marked out there with some tape where my cuts are gonna be and i'm gonna take a marker and mark all along that tape pull the tape off and then cut it with my plasma cutter <music> plasma cutter and just knock some of this stuff off uh, like these valve inlets I'm gonna cut a big circle all the way around them and I'll weld me a piece of metal on top of it to kind of fill that gap over 200 pounds. So we're gonna get me and my wife and we're gonna see if we can do it together. Uh, flip it over and then it'll be about where it's gonna be minus the wheels. So, you know, we're gonna bolt some wheels but we're gonna flip it over and just have it on this solid base for me to finish up the rest of it. So uh, this is the main part. The rest of it is super simple. See, it's like a little low right now, but I've got six inch wheels that I'm gonna put on there. So 
So that's gonna raise this whole thing up six inches so my cook surface will be the right height once we put those wheels on there. All right, the first part we're gonna do is get the base made for our, we got some stainless plate that we're gonna set down and that's where the charcoal is gonna sit on. So uh, we're gonna put uh, basically a channel on both sides with some spacers in there and then we'll put those pieces of stainless plate down there. All right, now we got a bunch of these little half inch by half inch by one inch long pieces of bar stock, and uh, that's gonna be our spacer. anti-tip racks too so uh, if you got a bunch of meat on there and the fire is really hot you can slide your racks out take the meat off slide it back in So we got our shelving, we got our bottom pieces with the spacers, and now we're fixing to make our, uh, our racks that'll slide in and out. And then once we make them, we can come in and put our pieces that will be our anti-tip pieces, and then we'll go ahead and uh, put a piece of uh, expanded metal on out to the edge. That way, you know, if you got hot dogs or something and they roll over there, or you're flipping burgers and you, they roll over there, they still be like they won't, you won't lose them down in the grill. All we did was weld some angle, not on the back, just right there on each side. And now we're fixing to do the same for that side. All right, the next thing is the doors. Uh, these are the hinges we're using. They're just weld on gate hinges. So, uh, you know, 
uh, there'll be one there, one there, and we've got a piece of quarter inch steel welded to the top of this door. This is just the same section that we cut out, and we're going. And we got spot welded right now, but this is going to sit on top of this, and that's going to give us the seal that we need on the top. We're going to attempt to set this here where it goes. Just like that. And then we're going to put these hinges. Like that. Now we're just going to take those one eighth inch pieces of steel and go right around the edge and just form it right around the edge. So you open it, shut it, be right where you need it to be. And that's the seal. Okay, so my battery died all ago while I was welding up some of this stuff. But you see this is where we are. We're pretty much done with all the welding. So we've got both the doors open, uh, or both the doors welded. we got everything welded on the inside, put our smokestacks up. Uh, this is how we're going to do the top of our smokestack. So it's just a piece of metal with a flange and a, a screw hole. And then we have a flange on top of it as well. And we'll put a bolt through there and we'll tighten it down. And you'll be able to raise it up or lower it depending on how much smoke you want out of there. So uh, let me show you what else we did. So we got a big handle on this end. So that's some uh, roll bar tubing, and uh, it's pretty strong. Let's see, we got this right here, which is a standoff for the door. So uh, the door will rest on that, and it'll be able to stay open by itself, you know, and it won't go so far back that our uh, thermometer that we put in here will damage it. So we got both of that, and then down here, this is our air intake. So we're going to have a flange on that as well with a cover uh, right here. I didn't tell you about this. These pieces right here. That's going to be, I'm just going to put a piece of stainless steel right there. And uh, I'm going to put a logo on there. So that right there is just to hold the stainless steel. So what we're about to do now is uh, get to grinding. We're going to grind everything that needs grinding. Uh, so if there's some rough edges... We're going to grind it and then we're going to pressure wash this thing out and paint the outside. Uh, we got some thermometers to put in here and we got a logo. We're going to put the logo on there in just a minute. Uh, we'll do the thermometers first. Hopefully it won't work too bad. So that's the goal and it won't rust out the bottom. 